Hello everyone. We've made it to another Monday. It's a very rainy Monday outside. So this morning, I'm not gonna go outside and check the garden because it's too wet and rainy. There are big puddles outside and I'm not getting wet. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, so I'm already wet enough. But I have a surprise when you go, when you see it tomorrow, the plants are just blooming like crazy. The leaves are all opening up. It's very tall. But this morning, we are going to check on a couple of other things. Can you believe how big the caterpillars have gotten? Remember the other day? They were barely as big as my thumbnail, and now they are much bigger than they were. Can you see inside? And they're building webs on the bottom. I read about that. And why do they build webs? Usually when they're on plants outside, they use them so they don't fall off the plant so that the wind doesn't blow them. It helps to protect them. So they build these webs in order to protect themselves. And then they'll also build, when they're making their chrysalis, their home while they change and metamorphosize. So that was an interesting fact that I found out today. So as you can see, they've been eating the food in the bottom. They bring it up to the top and there are some black dots in there. Can you see those black dots? Do you want to know what that is? When we eat food, we take out the good stuff that our body needs and then the rest comes out. So do you know what that black stuff is in there? They're eating the yellowish food at the bottom. It goes through their body and then it comes out. Do you know what it is? It's poop. Kind of disgusting, but we all poop. It is what it is. So there we go. We've got the caterpillars moving around and they are busy making their webs, eating and pooping. They've got to get ready because they're going to be undergoing a great big change when they metamorphosize. That's a big kid's word that just means changing from one thing into another. A caterpillar looks one way and a, a butterfly looks totally different. So it's a lot of work for them to do. All right, the other thing we have to check on this morning are our plants that I had in my windowsill. Nothing has grown yet. They got some sunshine in the windowsill. I have to be honest, I forgot to water them over the weekend. So guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna pour a little bit of water into each of the 12 slots and moisten it so that the plant can have water and then sunshine when it's nice out tomorrow. <clears throat> and hopefully they will begin to sprout. Remember I said these were old seeds. It might take them a little longer. I'm not positive if they'll even grow because like I said, they were old from last year. We'll have to see. So we're going to put those in the window later on and we'll check on them later. So do you remember I told you we we're talking about life cycle? Life cycle means that something starts out as a seed and then it changes and changes and changes and grows and develops and then it will die and it will all start all over again with a new seed. So we do that with the caterpillar. We do that with the plants. It's just all about everything changing and growing. Now it's time for us to do the calendar. Are you ready? Okay, everyone. A one and a two and a one, two, three. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Saturday. Uh-oh. Today is Sunday. Nah, today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday all day long. <clears throat> I didn't see you on Saturday or Sunday, and now it's Monday, so we have three numbers to put up. After we have number 10, do you remember what number comes next? It's the one next to the one, and its name is 11. And then comes the number 
12, which is a one next to a two. And then 13, one next to a three. <clears throat> so let's do our counting. All righty, let's do it in a soft voice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're getting towards the middle of April. April is A for April with a P R I L. April. Now this week we're saying goodbye to our letter U for umbrella and underwear and up. And we're going to say hello to the next letter, which is the letter V. V for viola, violin, violet, van. This is a picture of a van. Now we're going to take our magic finger and we're going to draw the V. It's, we remember, we always start our letters at the top. Big line down and up. V. V. These lines are on a diagonal. They're not straight down. They go over a little bit. Can you think of some V words? Look around your house. Do you see anything that begins with a V? Hmm. Maybe you see some vegetables. Or maybe in the freezer you have some vanilla ice cream. Or maybe out in your garden you're growing a vine. Look around. V's are kind of hard in the house. Put up our letter V. Okay, my friends. Today I will be putting up a new poem. It's already on Dojo. It's about the wind. I figured that would be a good one to have this week especially since it's so windy and rainy outside today. Also, we're going to be looking at our garden and our caterpillars every day to see how they are changing and growing. And I'll have a few surprises this week, some fun things to do. Tune in later for story time. Have a great morning. I miss you all so much. I hope you had a great weekend. See you soon.